Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be doing my apartment tour that I have been dying to do. The last one I did was when I lived at my old place three apartments ago, about two years ago, three years ago maybe, I don't know. This is my new place, newest place, the best place we've ever lived. So this is the front door. Yay! A mat where you put your shoes. Over from the front door to the left. There's this really foggy mirror. Um, we're in quarantine right now, so that is why it looked like this. Yep, this is the outfit for the past four days. Got all of our coats literally from here over is mine. And then Alex's are back there. I know, it's horrible. This is our toolbox. This is our Christmas tree. Um, seasonal decor is up there. Grocery bags, brooms, step stool because we're short and need to be taller sometimes. So that is that closet. And you come over here to the left and we have this beautiful flag tapestry that my friend Brady gave to me and I love it. And then right here, if you want some, we've got some couple of Reese's, Alice's cousin stuffed my purse full of these little Reese's peanut butter cups when I went over there and I didn't realize it till the next day and so <laughs> we just put those in there my mom this was in our house growing up she gave this to me uh so stuff I still have to hang out here is the main area so first things first come over turn to the right built-in shelf cabinet we could put stuff in here i don't know why we don't this is to the roomba there's like a bunch of like extra light bulbs and stuff in theory i wanted to display these in this cabinet but then they ended up being too tall these are just my dad's little yellow submarine beetles figurines i won't take them out of the box because they're collector's items and i wanted to have them like in here but they only fit down there so you can only see paul and john but that's all right. Up here, this is where we keep our, well, we used to keep our keys in here. We hung it up on the wall and just opened it like this with all of our keys. We don't use it here very much because it's really heavy and these walls can't really hold a lot. So we just keep it there and just put our keys elsewhere. Here we have Drogon from Game of Thrones. Uh, we wanted this one because he looks the coolest, unlike the other one where he's just like sitting. This is the one that Daenerys comes sitting on, but we took her off because uh, obvious reasons. <laughs> this is my dying spider plant. I don't know how to bring it back to life. I don't know what's wrong. I'm starting to think it has root rot and I can't have that in my life right now because I can't go anywhere to get more soil because we're in quarantine. So that's that shelf. And then over here, there's the entryway, it's where we just were. And this is our fireplace, which works. This is like a gas fireplace, and it actually makes the whole place really, really warm. Uh, we love that thing, it's on a lot when it's freezing. And this is our TV. This is Alex's mom, and this is my dad, and their little trinkets to remember them. And then this is a Mario Kart kind of vintage looking box car poster Alex got. So on this side of the shelf, this is Alex and I at Bridges Madison County, which is my favorite movie, one of them. Alex's parents wedding DVD. And then we have this lovely print that my friend Julia made. And here is her social media. She makes amazing artwork, watercolor artwork. And then this is just a little card Alex got for me for our uh, four year anniversary. And this is us long long time ago this is probably like six months in our relationship and then this i made for alex for our valentine's day this is our song it's by the avett brothers we went to their concert the night he asked me to officially be his girlfriend and this was a song that they played when everyone in front of us decided to conveniently sit down and we just stayed standing up since we were in the back and it was just a really special moment. So we're gonna dance this song at our wedding one day, whenever we decide to get married. <laughs> we have this Bold as Love poster. Love it. The frame sucks. We have a couple of those in here. I have to get new frames when we're out of quarantine. And then this is Alex's palm tree chair. Here we have the Xbox. This is just a mess. Like I don't, I can't figure out a way to make this work. This is like an old Starbucks newsstand. 
a lot of what we have in here is like we use Starbucks stuff because that's where Alex works and they'll be throwing away stuff and then he'll be like don't throw it away I'll take it so we use this for our little um, an entertainment console we got the Xbox old Xbox to play old Xbox games on and then this is our Wi-Fi. This is a VHS player that I, I want to hook up in the bedroom so I can watch. It's like a VHS DVD player. Really old, early 2000s. And then this is where Alex keeps all of his games. So this cute little thing. This is game over. And then there's more gaming stuff back here. This is a plant that my friends gave to me to try to bring back to life. Clearly... I'm not having the best luck with plants this winter, so we'll see if I can help her. This is the coffee table. Giant Scrabble, my favorite game of all time, and my stepdad gave this to me for Christmas. It is legit the size of my torso, and we play it like once a night, honestly. We sit in there and listen to a record and play Giant Scrabble. This was Alex's grandpa's, and we just adopted it to make it our table runner. So we've got... Jeff Goldblum, big fans of Jeff Goldblum in this house. I wanna have a Jeff Goldblum themed party and just play like the world according to Jeff Goldblum up here. And then we all like dress as him and hang up posters and pictures. I, I'm nuts, I know. And this is the regrettable <laughs> superheroes book. Alex's friend gave this to him for a secret Santa, I think, or maybe just for Christmas. It's just ridiculous. We haven't really read it yet, but there's like the eye. Bozo, the Iron Man, Fat Man, October Hormone, Amazing Man. That's my favorite one, the Amazing Man. What in the hell? Really fun, dumb superheroes. We're big nerds in this house. Like Our theme in this house is like rock and roll desert nerds. <laughs> rock and roll hippie nerds. Whatever. And then <laughs> underneath here is just a really cool Live Evan book I got for Alex for Valentine's Day this year. This is a plant that is really easy to take care of. It doesn't require much. And then we've got Uno and Dos, because it's funny. We've got a Deadpool sitting right here. This is Captain America. And these are Captain America playing cards. This is from the Goodwill. I just thought they were cute and vintage looking. We play those sometimes. We like to play games a lot in this house, especially during quarantine times, because there's nothing else to do. And then these are coasters, super cute remotes and that is a coffee table so this is our couch it is amazing and we love it it's super comfy um we got pickle rick and these pillows are from goodwill blankets from walmart and then these are all thrifted pillows from various thrift stores more coasters because we need more apparently they're all ones that we've taken from like local bars and stuff which oops but <laughs> come over to this side of the couch we've got alex's stereo which we need to figure out a way to hook it up that's one like thing about this apartment that's kind of sucks is there's not a lot of outlets and convenient places plant that was someone gave to my stepdad when he had his surgery and then he's like i can't take care of it do you want it and i was like yeah so i kept it two racks of alex's cd collection when like a new album comes out we will buy the album before we listen to it on spotify or stream it and just go drive around listen to the new record in the car on like a nice sound system as opposed to on our phones we collect cds and we've got our little groot right here with the Guardians of the Galaxy mixtapes. This is Alex's Walkman that he bought from someone and it doesn't work, but it's cute, so we just keep it there. We've got Gizmo and this Fleetwood Mac inspired basic bitch. I don't know, I got it because it was Fleetwood Mac inspired to me. This is our little letter board. We haven't changed it since November during our anniversary. Then under here, we've got extra it's like sheets and bedding and I have a radiator, which is on, and my feet are warm. I love it. I love radiant heat. And then this is like our little greenhouse. We've got all of these little plants. This is where Daenerys lives. She's on top of this thing we got from Goodwill. I got this from the Goodwill. Just a used old speaker that doesn't work, but I thought it was cute. More board games. And then we start with the bookshelf. So this is, most of these are Alex's books that we've gotten from the thick like the thrift store or this ones he wants to read and we got like stephen king lord of the rings we got all these magazines like rolling stone and stuff these used to be on the coffee table before i decided to make it 
not with magazines. This is my Beatles inspired shelf, which was more cool when you could like actually see it. Like in the old places, it was all decked out with Beatles stuff. These are all my, my dad's Beatles books. And I have this little walrus guy that we got in Colorado for the sole purpose of putting on the Beatles shelf. <laughs> yep, that's the kind of shit we do. And here are all of my dad's 45s. And then these are all of my CD cases from like the early 2000s with really old early 2000s CDs in them. This is Alex's Game of Thrones. This is like a little Game of Thrones shelf. Got the Game of Thrones board game for Christmas and Alex has the books right here. I have this Vote for Pedro pin that we got at the Alamo when we went to the Napoleon Dynamite movie party. More, these are Alex's like college textbooks from college. We got these little guys over here. This is, mostly these are mine. Well, not really. These couple ones are mine. And then we got Scar Tissues, my favorite book ever about Anthony Kiedis. This is like kind of like the biography, autobiography stuff. Brian Cranston, Dick Van Dyke, Anthony Kiedis, Martin Short, BJ Novak's book. I want to get more like books that I'll actually like read eventually. And then up here is like our VHS shelf. Like we collect the weirdest things. Like we got the Indiana Jones VHS, my film camera, my Polaroid, Beatles VHSs. We got the original Batman, the original Aliens trilogy, Singing in the Rain, and Neil Diamond. And this is a little bit of my Pete's Dragon collection. Pete's Dragon is my favorite Disney movie of all time. I have these VHSs that I got at the thrift store. This little mini VHS, this little guy came in that with that. His mouth like opens and stuff. It's so cute. I have this little pin that my brother gave to me. This is my Elliot Funko, who by the way is just really heavy. I don't know if it's like a real Funko, but it's cute and nonetheless, and it completes the collection. That is that. And then that is the living room for the most part. Oh yeah, and then that Beatles poster was my dad's. I adopted it, took it here. We've got my Labyrinth poster. This is my favorite movie of all time and our friend Matthew gave it to us as a housewarming present. Table here, this was my stepdad's mom's, I think she had this. My best friend Heather gave me this tapestry. This is thrifted, thrifted, my keys, my purse, you know. We got Bojack hiding back here. <laughs> this is my sleep and wear mask from when I went, one of the times I went to it in New York. And this is our Cornish pixie from Harry Potter World. He's my favorite creature. If you didn't know, besides Fluffy, I love the pixies. These are our boxes our wands came in, and then we have our wands right here. This one's mine, and this one's Alex's. And then we have this lovely built-in shelf. We had a bully moment going on on the shelves, and it's really nice because they have like these built-in like dents. Because apparently like back in the day when this was built, they used these shelves for like displaying china or displaying plates or whatever and i just use it to put my records on i think it's cute right now we're listening to glenn hanser because saint patrick's day was a couple days ago and he is irish king so <laughs> we're listening to that and this is just our little record station this photo of us this is legit six months into our relationship little babies this little dude heather also gave to me and she also gave me that <laughs> this is my dad's little music box and it sings I Feel Fine by the Beatles. So cute. Mini receiver. Oh, looks like it's not plugged in right now. Love that. Our dead weather candle. And that's Alex's shillelagh, which has a fun story behind it. I'll let him tell it sometime. This is just so we keep our DVDs. I don't really know how it's organized. Like, it's been reorganized so many times and there's so much. All I know is that all of the Marvel movies are right here with Thor. Bold and Brash, of course, from Spongebob, we have him above the door. Roomba, we named him Sunny because I Robot from Will Smith. This is Alex's stuff, it's normally like over there, but he was playing it the other night, so I just kept it here for him. This is our piano, and this is our friend's band, which I need to hang up and get a frame. I'll show you where in a little bit, where I'm putting all of our band, friend's band stuff. This is a piano. Love that. So on the piano, we've got my salt lamp. We've got Walter White. And this I've had for years and years and years. This is my, my friend Alyssa got this for me in Cancun, Mexico when we were 
at least six years old, maybe older. Got our infinity gauntlet. This just has quarters in it, money for laundry. I got this at the thrift store. This is a card I gave to Alex for something. And then this is our friend's Beatles cover band. I just have their little CDs right here because I think they're cute and I like to have my friend's stuff in my house. This is Alex's. He made this in high school. And then this are we eventually want to have the whole piano lined up with candles like this, like a church. <laughs> but right now we've only got John, Jareth, Freddie, and Stevie. This is my dad. And this is a little thing I thrifted that I thought was cute. This is the rest of his like CD collection. And then this also like turns around. There's legit more, even more CDs back here. This is us in Disney in 2017. A little dinosaur man. He gave this to me for, I think, our first year anniversary. It says, like, the first conversation we had that wasn't in person. And then this is Iron Man that someone left at Starbucks and Alex decided to keep it. The Walter White painting I made for Alex is the rest of our Bowie moment over here. My dad's poster. This is us when I was little. Abbey Road, my best friend Mandy gave this to me for her birthday and I will always have it. This is an ornament I got for Christmas from Alex, but I'm gonna keep it up year round because it's cute as hell. This is a song we believe my dad wrote and I decided to frame it because we found it in like a piano book. The F that was on our shed growing up and I got it tattooed right here. This is like the same little music box as like this one right here. But Muffy, my rabbit, decided to break the glass around it once and now it's glassless. And we have another little radiator right here. We got some pothos that I'm trying to grow. We'll see how well it goes. Got extra change for laundry. This is my ukulele. This is my guitar. And all these are Alex's instruments. This is a rug I got from my store I used to work at. And this couch I had when I first moved out of my house. I bought this one. These actually come off. So it's like a day bed. So we have guests, they like to sleep on the green couch. This is our record collection. I don't have like that many. It's fine for now. I just organized it the other day. There's nothing else to do in quarantine. These are musical oracles. I got this at Electric Fetus in Minnesota, which is Prince's favorite record store. This is in 2017. Got a sunflower field. Got Brian May. This is like sage and stuff. This is us on my sister's wedding day and me and my mom. And this is a lamp. It doesn't have a bulb or a shade, but it's cute. And this is a plant that I haven't killed. I can't get, this is like embedded in there. Oh, just kidding, it's not. I just ripped it off. But this plant's still thriving. Like it's still like growing new leaves and everything. Love her, had it for two years at this point. And this is our little Muffy corner. We had Muffy for about two and a half years before we had to put her down. She was an elder and she had cancer, sadly, um, but we kept all her stuff because we love her. So this was her bowl. All her bowls. I drew this of her. My friend watercolored this for me for her. These are like the little things that she chewed on. This was her nightlight. She was very spoiled. This was her little Santa hat I forgot to put away after Christmas, but she would wear it during Christmas. And these are her little paw prints. And that is her. And these are her ashes. I need to get an urn, I know. And this is her little other little nightlight. I think that's it for, this is like the main area. I think that's it for this area. So then we go back here. I know, did you think there was more? There's a whole other hallway. So we come back here. It is the bathroom. We all know this area very well. Here's a window that leads to nothing. I don't know, I don't get it. I don't know why it's there, but the neighbors have one too. Like when this light is off, sometimes you can see when their light is on at night. It's very bizarre. Got Ringo up here, my friend's Beatles band, some towels. These are like Valentine's Day towels, but I think they're cute, so I'm keeping them up. This little candle thing, my reusable pads for toner, I don't know. Toilet, this is from the Goodwill. This is from Target, but they match perfectly. This is it for storage in here. They're a hot mess, I will not open them. They're disgusting. Sink. You know, hello, this 
medicine cabinet. We're stocked up just in case one of us happens to get corona. I mean, they're still making Alex go to work at Starbucks, so you never know, we might get sick. There's my outlet, <laughs> the infamous outlet. I got a lot of questions about where this is from. This is from Society6, and I love it. I will always have it. This is Alex's favorite part. He's like, show them this. You open it when we've got this, like, psycho. He has a knife in his hand, like it's really violent, but it's like from Psycho, when, you know, when he kills Jamie Lee Curtis's mom in the shower, Norman Bates. There's her hands. Yep, that's our liner. We decided to have this thing in here for extra storage. Trash can here, more radiant heat, my mirror, you know, toenail clippers, all that good stuff. We have toilet paper. Hopefully that'll stay for a while. Can't get it anywhere right now. So the hair stuff, the only makeup I have is in this box. Um, I have extra Curology stuff. That's more hair stuff. This is like candles, beach towels, extra iron and stuff is in there. Bath towels, hand towels. You just need the extra storage, you know? Here. And this is the kitchen, which is disgusting, and I will only show you a little bit of it because it's gross. This lovely area, bread, matches, wooden spoons, my vitamins, recipe box, coffee, spices on the wall because, again, we don't have good storage in the kitchen. This little coffee man up here for some of our mugs, which are so cute. I just put them on display. Got a Keurig. This is my grandma's cookie jar. These are our cookbooks, which I think are hilarious. Got Snoop Dogg's cookbook, From Crook to Cook. <laughs> Baking Bad, because we're big fans of Breaking Bad. And then Dark Side of the Spoon. So cute, I love it. This is a little baby Yoda koozie that my mom's friend made and then gave to me. No flour, tea, sugar. This is our pantry. The yellow one has like oven mitts and foil and tea and all that other stuff to go in it. This is our bar cart. Next to it is a bunch of trash. We've got this on the wall pots and pans and this is the back door stove window got our audrey 2 funko this was my dad's when he was a kid this gorilla alex's grandma gave him this it's a, uh, a bird but the beak broke off we gotta fix it this is bob moss the marima moss ball who is not alive anymore i don't think but i think it's cute so i still keep it there and then Darth Maul and, you know, it's just a whole bunch of random stuff in this house. This is just like cups, like mugs and more cups, it's Tupperware, a bunch of dishes down here, I won't show it. And this is just plates and bowls. This is from the Tame Impala record or CD, it came with like this little calendar and I was like, that's funny as hell, we should put that in the kitchen as like our calendar. Uh, Kenny and Butter is up here. This is my dad's receiver and it's been on every fridge I've had since I moved out. Same with this Transformer Man. This has been on every fridge that Alex has had since he's moved out. We just do like dumb stuff like that, like, I don't know. Day three of COVID quarantine, how am I? We got Muffy right here. My sister gave that to me. We got this when we went to Las Vegas. This is a really old Polaroid. We got this of us. Also from Electric Fetus. We went on like a self-guided Prince tour because we love Prince. So that is the kitchen. Got this, my favorite thing is this mirror. And on it I've got this still water backstage pass that I made when I had my almost famous Penny Lane photo shoot. Got some of my dad's 45s that I put up. And then we have Darth Vader right there. And Gorillas merch right here. And then Marvel Comics right here. Like, we're just a bunch of music nerds. Piano Man, Strawberry Fields, Brandy, uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, yeah, Peaceful Easy Feeling, Someone Saved My Life Tonight, and Africa. We got Celebration Day poster right here. Love it. And then we go down the hallway, turn to the left, and this is my office studio yoga studio workspace classroom everything is in this second bedroom so to the right is my desk which is a hot mess <laughs> um this is from the thrift store and we've got 
Bob Ross and Mr. Rogers right here for inspiration. <laughs> Heather also gave that to me. This is just to keep me motivated. I have a plum bob right there. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I tried to like make like a cute gallery wall and I gave up because I ran out of ink and I just am lazy now. Got math homework, love it. This is my laptop. These crystals that Heather gave to me. Heather gives me everything, like I swear to God, I've talked about her so many times in this. This is my best friend Mandy when we were kids in a frame I've had since we were kids. This easel, which is normally over here, but because I decided to make this my yoga studio while we're in quarantine, I put it back there. Got a printer, bags, storage. It's like all my socks, underwear, jewelry. I got all my earrings like right here and then I've got my necklaces here this was like a DVD thing in our old house and I just decided to make it my underwear drawer I don't know and here this is from that store I used to work at when they're closing I just took this and I have my like sunglasses in it these are my Penny Lane inspired boots from the shoot, I wanna figure out a way to display these to make them cuter. And then behind them I have just a bunch of scarves. This is my closet. It is pretty clean, if I say so myself. I organize it a lot. I work in retail, so I can't not have like a clean closet. All my shoes. And these are mostly just shirts. This is pants, dresses, um, sweaters, crew necks hats and up there is luggage my little yoga space which is super cozy in here when the lights off it's nice to do yoga some tapestry i got at the thrift store shelving is also from the thrift store i have a chakra dream catcher from earthbound and this poster is from amazon and over here, I've got my lights, my backdrop for my shop that I have. This is literally almost all for sale. Like, all of this down here is for sale. This isn't. I just didn't have room for it in my closet. <laughs> all my rainbow stuff. Not for sale. But all this is. And that's it for this room. There's a lot going on in here, I know. My, this is my friend's. This is the Beatles band that I keep talking about. And I want to put that one poster that I talked about, like, right here. This is Heather, Heather's Blues Band, Heather Newman Band. We're gonna have like a gallery for all of our family and friends bands right here. So then you go down the hallway, we got Morrissey and Marr, the Smiths right here. A random little Beck thing right here, I don't know. Um, this is like my family thing. Dick Van Dyke, cause he's my favorite human. We've got the White Album poster up here. And this is our bedroom. This is Alex's closet. My diffuser going, we've got disco ball, love it. Quarters for laundry, Tampa Bay. Piggy bank, our Alex's family gave all of us kids, like our team, favorite team's piggy banks, and ours is Tampa Bay. Tom Brady's on Tampa Bay now, hell yeah. Above that we have a memorabilia cord board that I just put a bunch of our memories on, like we have notes that Alex has written me over the years on here, tickets, our magic bands from Disney, our tickets to Disney, our little Star Wars pins, you know, just like stuff like that, Gorilla's ticket, it's just random stuff like that. And then this is our caricatures that we got done. We literally don't look like that at all anymore. <laughs> this is Alex's dresser, this is our hamper. More radiant heat, love it. This is a window. And then we've got most of my plushies in there because I don't know what to do with them, but I can't get rid of them. Awesome rug. That was Alex's. This is my dresser. I've got a little candle in here. Hamburger phone from my friend Brianna. This is a little rabbit thing. And I just keep some guitar picks in it. We've got the Beatles band yesterday and today. This is from Prince. Electric Fetus store, and then just some Beatles guitar picks. Super cute. Apple TV, satellites. Alex made this as well. Some rattles. He made that in high school. We got some Tsum Tsums. Conley and Chewy, and then we said it was Alex, me, and Muffy. Same with this one. Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto, Alex, me, and Muffy. This is a failed gallery wall, again. I'm still working on. And then we've got 
hard day's night right here that Carrie Ann got for me. Another window. We've got some plant holders that don't have any plants in them, but my friend's mom made these for my birthday. Um, I'll link her shop below. And this is just like some photos and stuff. Here's our bedside table. My bedside table. Happy socks box that I got my Beale socks in and I just keep my essential oils with a diffuser in it. We got remotes. This is my sleeping mask that Alex got for me for my 21st for when I was hung over shit the next day. Best friend from that photo. This is us when we graduated and another photo of us when we were little kids. Pillow mist, because I love lavender. And then we've got wars over in one of those shitty frames again. This is the bed. Again, with the Elliot, you guys, I'm obsessed. This tapestry is from, guess who? It's from Heather. <laughs> she gave that to me years and years ago and I will always have it in my house. Comforters from Urban Outfitters that I got when Alex and I moved out together the first time. We got Lotso. This poop emoji pillow is from my friend Brianna who gave me the hamburger phone. This is a failed Build-A-Bear that I got for Alex for his birthday once. I didn't realize upon buying it that it was Kylo Ren and not Darth Vader like an idiot. He still makes Darth Vader noises, so. This is Kylo Vader. <laughs> We've got Alex's bedside table. More like happy socks stuff. I don't think anything is in his. His stuff down there. And that's it for the bedroom. And that's it for the place. That is my and Alex's nerdy rock and roll apartment. Thank you so much for being here.